Hello, I'm Andrea Cooley, one of the owners of Des Moines Mom, and today we are talking to Megan Schmelzer with the Little White Schoolhouse. Hi, Megan. It's hard to believe it is the end of summer. Um, back to school is upon us, and that means we're thinking school supplies and thinking about getting our kiddos back into the routine of school. So what kind of back to school things do you have for four families at the Little White Schoolhouse? Oh my gosh, there's so many things that we're getting ready for back to school. Um, a lot of my teachers work full time at the schools during the day and they come and tutor with me in the evening. So we close the week school starts and we like remodel, like we don't remodel, but we clean, we repaint, we buy a bunch of new games and we do kind of a grand opening for the new school year. On Monday, August 26, kids will graduate their tutors from last year and they'll get to move up to their new grade level tutors. And it's just kind of a celebration for all they did last summer and last school year and now getting to restart and enjoy a new school year. That's so great. So what are some of those services that you have? I know you do private tutoring and some other yeah. classes and programs. Yeah, so private tutoring is our number one service. Uh, it's the most requested that is where your child, preschool through adulthood, is basically matched with a licensed teacher. So that is one-on-one, -on -one, just them, just your child. We do everything from chemistry, physics, Spanish, preschool readiness, kindergarten readiness. I have special education teachers. I have reading interventionists. So when we meet a child and I meet them, I'm trying to figure out their personality and what they need. And then I match them with a teacher that in my heart um, that I know is the best fit for them. That's so great. Cause I think, you know, as parents, we might hear from teachers that our student yeah. child needs some help, but then knowing that you have the expertise to really yes. match them with the best, with the best. Yeah. And Everyone here is fully licensed in the state of Iowa to teach, and they're only going to tutor within their licensing parameters, which is a big deal for me. When someone's coming in, I want them to have a trained teacher helping them grow and learn. Yes. So, you know, as a parent, I have three kids who are getting ready to go back to school. Yeah. What kind of things should families be thinking about now to get our kids ready for that? You know, it's been couple months of summer, we're out of our routine. Mm -hmm. um, what can we do to kind of ease that transition? Uh, if you guys are like me, you are kind of feeling the chaos in your house. Yesterday was a disaster with my two kids. They're ready for a routine. They're yes. ready for that back to school time. Um, my advice is start to gradually get bedtime back on track. I think that's the first thing you have to do is my kids go to bed in the summer at 9, 930, especially with the Olympics on. But school year's eight. Instead of doing a hard, you're back at eight, we usually move it back by half an hour. Mm -hmm. So that week school starts, we're back at eight o'clock. Yes. Uh, also, this is something for those really, those parents of young teachers. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend taking a couple weeks in August and practice lunchtime routine. So oh, like those, so smart. I, if they're new, they're not going to understand how to do lunch and they're probably not used to only having 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So as my kids went to kindergarten, we would pack their lunch mm -hmm. in their box and then we would take them to the table and we would help them practice opening up their yogurt and yeah. opening the sandwich and trying to get them down to 30 minutes so that those little friends don't spend their entire lunch eating yes. or talking. And then realizing they're starving when they get home. Right. That's right. something really unique to littles. Mm -hmm. It's too, even if you have a high schooler, it's time to start to bring down the bedtime, start to enforce your mm -hmm. times and your restrictions for the school year. Uh, yeah. The big thing too is a lot of sports are starting practices already. Wow. So those high school kids are probably already moving to that school year. Yeah, that's so great. So then once our kids are back at school, you know, getting into that routine, um, they will be having their fall assessments, you know, where they're yeah. and engaging where they are in things. So what should parents be looking for with those or what do those really mean for a student? Yeah, when you get those letters, it's like in teacher jargon, right? It's really hard to like decipher what they're telling you. So those letters actually are required because of the No Child Left Behind Act. 
So three times a year, every state in the United States has to assess kids in order to show, are they at benchmark, which is grade level, and are they growing? So those first assessments typically happen those first two weeks of September. Mm -hmm. It takes teachers hours and hours to do them. A lot of them are one-on-one -on -one with kids and they take like 10 to 20 minutes a kid. Mm -hmm. When you get those assessments, it's probably going to be the middle of October. Okay. So you've now had two months of school go by before you get a report. Mm -hmm. If your child's below benchmark, we need to get started. We need yeah. to start helping them right away. A lot of times they'll say, oh, it's still the beginning of the school year. You have time. Really by October, if they're not re reaching benchmark, we need to start intervening because that level, those assessments, winter has higher benchmarks than yeah. the fall. The yeah. fall is the lowest scars you will ever have your kids meet because mm -hmm. in the spring, it's going to be much higher than it is. Right. So in order to help kids grow and meet those standards, if we're seeing that they're behind in those October reports mm -hmm. in both reading and math, we need to get them in and we need to start helping support them. So if you are a parent who gets, you know, the benchmarks um, in September, mm -hmm. October, you have questions or you feel like your student does need some intervention, some further assistance, what would you recommend or what's the best way for them to get in contact with the Little White Schoolhouse? There's two options for these parents. Uh, we have small group classes. Those are kindergarten through fifth grade called Jumpstart. Those align directly with what's happening in the grade level. So if you have a third grader, our Jumpstart classes are meant to teach the exact same thing they're learning in class here. So if they're working on multiplication in the beginning of third grade, we are reteaching multiplication here as well. So they're getting the same subjects and the same support. Mm -hmm. If you have a kid that's really shy, if you have a kid that's significantly struggling, if you have a child with special needs or maybe anxiety, they might be a better fit for one-on-one -on -one private tutoring. Sure. And to start that, you would call the schoolhouse or email contact at Little White Schoolhouse and set up an assessment with me. I do all the assessments. Um, sure. I use that time to test the kids, figure out where their gaps are, and then get to know the parents, get to know the child so I can pick the right teacher for them. We also have quite a few kids that on those back to school assessments, they're already at end of the year benchmark, right? They're yeah. already meeting the end of the year standards. The opposite, yeah. Yeah, we have like, I have a daughter that's the same way where she's already significantly above end of the year grade level. We see a lot of those kids for private tutoring as well because those are the kids that don't tend to get supports at school because they're already meeting benchmark. They're not the red kids um, mm -hmm. that law requires intervention for, but they're just as important and their learning needs to continue to grow. And so it, we yeah. also do quite, yeah, we do quite a bit of private tutoring for those kids that need enrichment, um, mm -hmm. that wanna learn more in our order to push further. Okay. Great. Well, thank you so much, Megan. I think there are so many great services from the Little White Schoolhouse and, you know, you guys are a great resource for families in the area. So we are, we will get back into the school routine and we'll just do what we need to do. So thank yeah, you. Yeah. So sometimes it's a bit of a crash start that first week of school. <laughs> Everyone's exhausted. I tell parents, don't be surprised if your kids are crabby. Oh. They're going through a big change. They will be crabby. They will be tired. Um, so by September 1st, though, they're usually settled and ready to go. All right. Well, thank you so much. Sounds good. Thank you. Bye.